Hey everyone, I'm Lona Mar, and welcome to my training facilities here in San Diego, California. I'm 26 years old, originally from Burlington, Vermont, and I went to school in Connecticut where I played rugby and I studied nursing. So I'm now a registered nurse, I have my master's in business, and I'm kind of a TikTok star, if you didn't know. I'm an international rugby player with the USA Sevens team, an Olympian, and just a huge fan of women's sports. My career with rugby has taken me all over the world. I've been to South Africa, Japan, Peru, France, but this year I'm doing something a little bit different. In the next few weeks, I'll be traveling all the way to New Zealand, the most rugby mad country in the world. While there, I'll see the quarters, semis, and the finals of the Rugby World Cup. I'm going to be there at Eden Park for the pinnacle of the biggest women's rugby world cup yet. But before that, I'll be spending three weeks in Auckland to figure out what makes that beautiful country tick. And yes, I will be filming a few TikToks, don't worry. From there, it's a quick trip back to the United States where I get ready for Dubai and our World Series to kick off again. But first, I'm gonna be watching the last round of pool play here in San Diego where Canada is gonna take on the USA. Now this is a big game because this could depend whether or not we make it into the quarters. I'll be there supporting, cheering on the girls and trying to get as many people to watch rugby as I can. Come along for the ride. They just gave me a GoPro. I am going to have a lot of fun with this. Uh, I don't know how it works, but I feel like a Kardashian, like I'm starting a vlog. Four days out from the watch party and I'm so excited. I honestly don't know how many people are actually gonna come. It could be 50 people, it could be 100 people. It could be a small group of 20, but I'm super excited. I think we'll get a great crowd out just to watch rugby and to enjoy it. And hopefully we get a lot of people who aren't rugby fans to come and experience what this is and experience the Rugby World Cup. So, I'm nervous. <laughs> All right, we are three days away from the watch party. Today is Wednesday, which is my off day, so I'm running errands, getting things together, and then trying to chill a little bit so that I can be ready for the weekend. I'm getting my second booster in my flu vaccine. I'm gonna relax the arms, right? I know. Yeah. Only two more days until the watch party, but first, time for a little rugby. One day until the watch party. I'm fueling up for a big day of party planning. Gotta get in the right mind space. I'm thinking that we just Uber so that, you know, you can okay. be just solely focused on the watch party and not parking your car. Smart. Ooh. I was like, I was gonna drive myself and then I was like, this is a rugby watch party, let's be safe. You are a hostess with the mostest. Hostess you with the mostest. It is the night before the watch party. Um, I'm going out to dinner with some friends and my sister. But before I go to dinner, of course, I'm watching Australia versus uh, Wales. And this is an exciting, exciting game. I can't wait to be there in person in the stands and watching this live action. I'm, I'm absolutely stoked. This is gonna be amazing. Okay, so currently I'm getting ready for the watch party. It starts at 7.15, but we're gonna get there early, like 6.30, because I wanna see what the vibes are like. I wanna see how the event space looks. We've made amazing posters. It's gonna be great. I don't know how many people are gonna be there. No matter who comes, we're gonna celebrate the USA, and it's gonna be a great day of rugby. So I don't usually do arts and crafts at all, but I am today and I have extra poster boards so I think it would be really cool if we had people sign in when they got to the event and just show all the support that we are getting out for the girls. So here we go. I don't want there to be any question as to who I'm sporting tonight. So of course I'm wearing my red, white, and blue. But the forecast is calling for rain. Of course, the one day in San Diego when it's not sunny, it's gonna rain. But that should be only at 9 p.m. So I think we'll be okay. We are outside, but the game will still go on. We'll get a little wet, but it'll still be a great time and I'll be prepared. I feel like I'm getting ready for a game. You know, when you do all your braids and you put your battle braids on, <laughs> I feel that's what I'm doing right now. It's cute. Uh, 
Every single game this World Cup has been so exciting and so cool to watch. The level of play around the world has just increased exponentially. I mean, England, New Zealand, nobody's on par with them. France, has, but the defense they're bringing out is insane. I'm super excited to see this game. Canada's a great team. USA is a great team. I think it'll be a one to watch, and it is a really important game for us. So we'll see how it goes. Canada versus USA is always a classic rivalry. I know that whenever I play Canada, I get psyched up for it. So this is a big game. Canada already have been on point. They've beaten Italy, they've beaten Japan. They've already pretty much topped the pool, but we wanna beat Canada because that would place us in better standings for the quarterfinals, so we're not playing one of the top teams. I can only imagine the energy in the locker rooms right now. Like, this is gonna be a good game, I know it. The game is about to start, super exciting. People keep rolling in, of course, they're probably coming fashionably late, but it's gonna be great. The USA is heading onto the field. It's gonna be a game to remember. Canada is in the lead right now. That score by Alev was absolutely amazing. We just have to keep control of the ball. The Canada defensive impenetrable right now, so we can see what we can do. We're gonna keep working. It's still a close game. I think we could still have it if we worked hard in the second half, but we'll see how it goes. So we're pretty much nearing the end of the game. It's 24 to 14. I don't know if we'll come back. We have three minutes left to play. We could come back, but it's been a solid game, a great game to watch. Canada will probably take this one, but I hopefully we'll still make it through the quarters. And that's the end of the game. We lost, but it was a great game all together. Canada, you played really well. I'll give it to you. I can't wait to be there in person and watching USA play in the quarterfinals for real. I'm gonna be in New Zealand soon. It's gonna be amazing. Uh, thank you for everyone who came out. We had you know, upwards of 50 people, men and women. It was just a great time. Thank you so much. I can't wait to be out there in person in New Zealand. I think it's going to be an amazing experience. We've made the quarterfinals. We can do this. Rugby World Cup is amazing and it's so sensational. Thank you all and see you in New Zealand.
It is the morning after the watch party and we had a wonderful day yesterday. Yes, a little stressful planning and everything, but my sister, my friends all helped. We had a great turnout of 50 plus people all supporting women's rugby. But now it's on to the quarterfinals. So today I'm gonna pack, I'm gonna get everything sorted, get my outfits planned. And then Wednesday I'm hopping on a plane and I'm heading to New Zealand to watch the games live. See you there.